My name is Dia, and you're watching DIY Dia. Da da da. Well, today I'm gonna be painting an entire outfit. I've done shoes and um, shirts in the past, but never the whole thing. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So I'm going to be painting on this white shirt and I'm showing you the back of um, the shirt and pants because I already drew the design on the front. And those are the orange pants that I'm going to use. And the shoes have flowers on them. So you probably know, know that I'm doing a whole theme but the theme for the outfit is uh, like a floral theme. Yeah. So I'm just outlining all of these flowers because um, you can't really see the pencil lines. I only drew it with the pencil first, just so I know where to outline. And I'm like, where do I put the flowers? And it's just so I don't mess up on like the first try or I don't like it. So, yeah. And um, I did outline everything just because you guys can't really see any of the pencil lines. Like, kind of, but like barely and i couldn't see them very well like when the shirt was twinkling or when i was painting so yeah that's why i'm outlining it in washable marker it has to be washable so yeah it has to be washable unless you unless you um you can do it permanent but then what I did is I did washable and then I put like the paint over it and then I see if I like and then if I liked it I was going to paint I was going to outline it with black paint or sharpie and uh, I ended up doing that but off camera I ended up doing the details off camera and if you're trying to paint on shirts out shirts pants whatever shirts or pants you might want to keep like a notebook or something underneath um like you can kind of see it it's like that little purple thing ghosting through with the little orange tabs yeah that's the notebook i used because i thought it was a, per it was a perfect um size for the size circle that i did and to get that circle i actually used a plate because i used one of the biggest plates i had and then i just traced the circle and then everything else i drew and the D is like a light purple, and the background, which I'm doing right now, um, is like a teal, or like a light teal color, and I love the combination of purple and teal together, so I thought it would be great. Also, in like some random parts of this video, my head just pops through. I was trying not to do that, but then when it comes to the little nooks and crannies, I kind of had to, so... Unlike the detail work, I kind of had to. But most of the time, it's only my hands and the shirt or, like, whatever I'm painting on. So I did do a lot of the pants off camera. And one shoe, I did part of it on camera and then the rest of it off camera. Which I'm really sorry. But if I did all of it, well then, the video would be, like, four hours long. And... That's, that's just not, that's just, like, I feel like that's too long. If it was, like, one hour long, maybe people would watch it. No. Who would watch a one hour long video unless it's, like, a satisfying video? I don't know. Me? I don't know. What am I even saying? What am I even saying? Can you hear me? Sorry, I tend to whisper a lot. And then... Yeah. Well, right now I'm painting the first leg of the pants. Again, my head. And I'm only doing like a thin, thinnish layer of yellow. Thinnish layer of yellow, and then I'm going in, um, not right now, but after I did do that, um, the lines were a little bit see through. You can still kind of see through to the pen, the pen lines, but I did go like a little bit of white and like not trace it but i just added like petals i guess you can't really call them petals but at the end it did turn out to look like a rose so it was okay 
So now I'm just painting it yellow. Painting it yellow. Painting it yellow. I don't know what I'm saying, so I'm stalling. Yellow. 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 See, um, also, I did the pink thingy off camera. I didn't really know what that pink thing is i don't know what flower it is i just i wanted another flower there and i thought it would look good with a baby pink so i did it and sorry the lighting changed like a lot because i'm actually doing most of the pants like the top of the pants and then the other leg of the pants um and the shoes at like 11 at night so See, I did all of this at 11 at night because I did the rest of it in the afternoon and then I did everything else like this um, at 11 at night. Keep saying that, but it's the truth. And I'm just doing the last of this swirl thingy. I actually didn't intend to add dots. I just thought it needed a little more and the dots looked great, so yeah. These are the shoes. So originally, what is now right, like white right now, it's actually it was originally white. I mean, it was originally black, and then I painted it white so I could paint on it. So yeah. Also, right, you don't see this, but where I wrote my name in pencil, yeah, you can barely see that, but you can see it. And, um, where I did write my name, I was trying to go over in, like, the orange color of the pants. But then I realized I had too much water on my brush, so it kind of smudged. So I kind of just put it all over the edge of the shoe, just the edge where my name is. And I added some gold accents, which you'll see at the end when I model the whole outfit for you. You'll see the fact that I did, um, well, um, put, like, a peach trim, I guess, on the edge. You can't, you can see it on the, technically it's the, um, your right, but it would be my left in the video. So yeah, that's the pink thing, and then those are the orange pants. I think the pants came out really well, and that's the shirt, and I did add outlining, and then I also added the stripes on the sleeve, and then you see my face. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.